Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a in a mobile application uh, uh, Xamarin.Forms have a grid uh, control in which you can add some uh, other content like label, button, etc. So uh, how to use the grid control in uh, Xamarin.Forms? So in the content page you have a grid con uh, container you can say so uh, a container have a another container you can see so so grid uh, have a margin 20 30 30 20 that is the top left right uh, bottom and the grid dot column definitions you you can see that you can say uh, column definition i mean to say that columns in the uh, grid uh, grid you can say it's a table form so first of all uh, define some uh, columns in the table and uh, column definition we have a width 0.5 a strict sign means uh, proportional value uh, and uh, we have also some other values like auto and the absolute value you can define in the width if you want to add a proportional value then you can uh, add strict sign or your star sign in the end of the value okay so the grid definitions uh, you can uh, you can see the column definition we have two columns and similarly uh, define a row definition in the grid and uh, define also the height property of the uh, of the row so uh, just remove or you can say just replace the column definition with the row definition so that is the row inside your grid i define width in the column definition and the in the height in the col uh, in the row definition okay set the height property uh, in the row and also set the width property of the column so 30 30 is the fixed value you can say that is the absolute value and if you want to add some content in the grid you just add uh, some content in inside your grid like uh, some controls uh, you can say that uh, label button etc so label uh, here we have a label text that is that this text uses for column span property to span both columns that is not uh, actually related to the content but uh, it's a text only so grid dot row is zero and grid dot column is zero i mean to say that the first column and the first row uh, have some text like that uh, this text is uses the column span property to span both columns so that text is assigned in the zero row and zero column so first row you can say just uh, uh, change the uh, change the text uh, of the label and the second label you can say that the row is the zero but the column is the one and the third is a row is one and the column is zero and the last one is row is one and the column is one so you can say that each column and the row start from the zero if you uh, you not define in the uh, column and the row in the grid just you can say that uh, default zero row and zero column i mean to say that single row and the single column inside in the grid automatically so uh, a default table have a zero row and zero columns so the third text is second row first column and the last one is second row and second column okay so that is the uh, final uh, thing you can say that uh, it's a layout uh, in a mobile application grid is a layout in a mobile application and you want to uh, if you want to add some other text uh, like uh, call span properties and the row span property just have a look uh, first of all uh, check the output of uh, that example and rendered successfully okay so let's see wait uh, for a few seconds yeah 
first row first column and second row and second column third row and uh, second row and first column and second row and second column is visible in the mobile emulator okay so if you want to uh, add call span property and the row span property first to understand what is the call span property call span property i mean to say that merge two columns merge three columns so merging the columns you can say that a call span property if you want to understand the row span property then you can say that a row will be merged in the single row okay so here you can see that we uh, we have two columns and the three rows and if you want to merge it so uh, here you can see that uh, that zero row and zero column here you can define the call span actually call span is not a property but grid dot call span is a property so just you can use a grid dot call span is true here we have uh, two columns only so just both columns are uh, merged in a single column in the first row okay where you can define the grid dot row zero okay so there is a no chance to uh, add another content in the second column of the first row so just remove that the second thing or you can say the second text zero row and the first column so just remove it okay just uh, take uh, one first row and the zero column here you can define uh, the row span property but you can uh, and, uh, but you know that a row span property merge rows not columns so first of all define here just copy that and paste for the fourth text label okay so understand that the first row that is a zero row and zero columns is spanned in the twos so there is a no need to add in the second column text but in the first row and the zero column you can define a, so a row span property and not a column span property so the uh, second row and third row will be merged okay so here we have third three rows in the row definition you can see so second row and third row is uh, spanned of the first column is merged because the zero column you can assign it here okay and the first row so both are merged and you can see that second column also merged in the form of row span so both uh, columns are spanned or you can sorry row as spanned thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to xamarin.forms and let's the see out uh, let's the output of the uh, example so the first content will be visible in the both columns but second content visible in the both rows of the first column and the as well as second columns so there is a no chance to the third rows and in a call span property there is a no chance to in the second columns you can see that that is the output thank you guys so the first row and the first column will be visible in the first row and call span so there is a no chance to in the second column but second row and third row will be merged in the form of columns thank you guys for watching this please uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much